Welcome to the ATEX video on importing IIF files into QuickBooks Online using our IIF importer for QuickBooks Online. I would like to start by showing you an IIF file. Uh, in most cases, you can open them with Excel, uh, but they're not truly a spreadsheet. Here you see that there are three transactions, begin with trans and with entrans. We have an invoice with a invoice number, which is called doc number, of one uh, INV777. And then we have a payment, pay that invoice, because the SPL line has a doc number of INV777, which is the same as the invoice number just created. And we also have a journal entry that has nothing to do with either one of the above, but just to show you that it indeed can be put into the same file. So now that you have that file and you might have received it from your other system, a legacy application that still creates those, uh, payroll uh, is one example of where they can do create those types of files. I'll now I'll show you how to import it, and it's very, very simple. We have already installed our application. It is a Windows application, and I'll now start it up. So I just double click on the icon on the desktop, and it is now coming up. We have connected to our test QuickBooks company. And I'll show you that there, those transactions are not currently in there. By going through the search for the recent transactions, and you'll see that there's an old payment, credit memo, and so forth. But nothing with INV777 and so forth. Now, all I need to do in our IIF importer is to select the file and click on the import button. And then you can see it in QuickBooks he here, or you can just go to your QuickBooks and look at it in recent transactions. So I'll now select the file. I will now browse to it. We have put a test file in a separate folder that I put it into our Quick Access, and you don't have to do that, but you can if you wanted to. And there is our file. And I'll double click on it to select it. And here's the file name. Here's the folder that it's in. I will now click on the import. Confirm that that's the file we want to import. And you can see in our progress bar and our status line that it is importing. It says complete transactions three. So we did three transactions. And here's the three transactions an invoice, payment, and a journal entry. We'll look at them in QuickBooks. I will refresh the recent transactions. Here's our journal entry payment and invoice. Let's look at the payment first. And there it is. It has paid our invoice. Now let's look at the invoice. There's the invoice and it is marked paid. And finally, a journal entry. And there it is. Now this is indeed a very simple case but we have done all types of transactions, large and small alike. That concludes our demonstration of our IIF importer for QuickBooks Online. Uh, following this, we will show you how to install the product on your Windows system and also how to authorize it in QuickBooks Online. It is all very, very simple. Again, thank you for watching this part of the video, and I will talk to you later.